Hey guys, I wanna give you a quick tour of the Mead Room as it is, tell you about some ways I organize my stuff, um, and I don't know if that'll help you or not, but it's kinda of what I do, so uh, let me go and show you what I've done. I have created, um, one, first thing is that the whole room itself has been reorganized. You see here, there used to be some shelving right over here, but I have gone ahead and, um, and moved a shelf outdoors um, into my, basically, what it's, is my, this room is a mess right now, but I've been building stuff out here. So this is holding all my um, glassware that is like, I mean, stuff that can get cold. So it's like glassware, uh, anything that can get cold. I got storage up there. I've got my uh, temperature controlled freezer right there. Again, it is a little messy in there, sorry. Um, and then in here, I have been, I've put this pegboard up so that basically I could uh, go ahead and, and hang stuff. So I've got all my things I use, and um, of course I sanitize them before use, all that stuff. Um, my step ladder, because getting up to these uh, high places sometimes um, is not super easy. The ceiling is, uh, I think a 10 foot ceiling, does that seem right? Nine foot, something like that. So it's pretty high up there. Um, so I gotta use that. I recently got a table for helping me record. Um, aside from that, my storage is basically that stuff right there as far as the big things go. Now let me explain um, what's in each one. I've got stuff up there. I got stuff up there that I uh, need to use. I need to repaint that. Anyways, this is holding currently, um, every time I, I recycle my bottles, which I do that quite a bit, I go ahead and put them into here for them to drip dry and then I delabel. This is just storing a bunch of wine bottles. Um, even more stuff. I use my star sand, like my star sand is here, and then my honey bucket, um, and I only have one right now. More bottles, beers, um, an active fermentation, which leads me to my next thing. I've got even more things fermenting. You can see my one gallons, basically in every video, there's a uh, one gallon stuff happening. So that's up there and they always rotate around. This is my new cabinet I just built recently. That's why my uh, sunroom looks like a mess. Uh, this is holding a bunch of stuff. This is a six gallon carboy, six and a half gallon fermenter, three and a half, three, three, three. Bunch of space in here for fermenting. And I custom built this because I wanted to have the headspace for putting tall things in, but I also really wanted to have some space down below. So if you look down here, um, this thing is pretty heavy because it's got a lot of stuff in it, but this is a bunch of uh, things as well. This is an active fermentation. Um, then these are just kind of aging. This is a full carboy. And so the thing I like about, or what I wanted to do when I built this was make it tall enough for me to put carboys with airlocks on. So this thing can hold that, can hold airlocks. There's also, let me uh, close that bad boy. Um, now with every everything you build, there's always a hitch to it. Then the other one, other side, is holding a bunch of glassware. So this is stuff I have carboys that are empty that I'll be using at some point, and uh, yeah. So I'm not saying my craftsmanship is incredible. It's got its own problems. But there's that, and that's been really nice because I can hold a bunch of things to ferment. Um, now, the last thing really for the meat room, or last two things, all of my storage up here is bottles that I have finished or empty bottles. Like, I always do all my storage things. I have these little, uh, zip tie, like, you know, you see at office things, and I write down what's in the box. So in this one, there's my OK Boche, my peppermint, Tupelo, blood orange, blood orange dry, hopped, all that stuff. And I leave them on those things because then I can say, oh yeah, what's in this one? Oh okay, yeah, cool. And then I can figure out what I need because oftentimes I give away bottles um, to friends and it's easy to find that way. Then after, I mean, I have that storage all the way around here. That is all my storage. Okay, so on top of that is my uh, catalyst fermentation system, not currently in use. Um, I'm gonna start brewing something soon, but we'll find out. But then I have this like teacher cart, which I am a teacher, so it's not that, not too far away from me. But um, this is just storing all my stuff. So this is like labels and, and <laughs> random various things. I've tried to keep them pretty well done. Got some scales, um, more labeling things all my yeasts I use, all my airlocks. Um, I've got a million of them at this point. Um, this is my white powders, like my sorbates and uh, yeast energizer, nutrients, metabisulfites, 
uh, tubing, um, an air part of an air pump, more tubing, uh, caps and corks, uh, some mesh bags, various stuff, and then I think down here is all cork or caps. So all of that, I built this thing just to hold my fermentation, this catalyst ferment or fermentation system because I needed something. But this room is kind of hard to figure out as far as like what to put in it. And um, I'm uh, definitely pretty pleased with it. I have, of course, my wall of fame. If you want to be a part of that, that's the Patreon. These are all my friends who are on the wall of fame who have uh, supported me on Patreon. You can be on there too. Go check that out down below. But I wanted to give a quick tour of the updated mead room because I'm actively changing it, trying to make it better and better each day. And uh, I hope you guys um, know that hopefully my content is getting better over time. Now the big thing is uh, I need your help. That's, I will always need your help because, you know, making YouTube videos is fun, but I don't make them for myself necessarily. I, you know what I mean? I, I'm here to educate. I'm here to help you guys out. So if you want to uh, support me, go check out the Patreon. Just leave a like or a comment on this video. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you organize your mead room because you might have a completely different method, which is awesome. And uh, maybe I can learn something from you. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'll be back with some more content and um, hope you have a great day. So with that, cheers.